We know about the Queen, we know where the Queen lives. Hello, so it is the start of another vlog. It is Saturday, it is still hot. Oh my God, I can't, I can't ever get used to this, but you know, gotta enjoy it while it lasts. I, what have I been doing? I don't know, I think I just, I think in summer it can be a bit of a weird time for me because there's less structure, like it's quite hot, loads of people are on holiday. There's less collective focus than at the beginning of the year. So sometimes I can find it quite tricky to stay motivated and keep up the momentum that I have earlier in the year. But I'm recognizing that and I'm not gonna be hard on myself. I've been reading my books and I'm just gonna try and be kind to myself and think, it's fine, you know, you've, what have you learned from this experience? What have you realized about yourself? You know, why have you been procrastinating? Is it because you're getting away with from something or you're scared of doing something? Let's tackle that fear. So that is where I'm at at the moment. I'm still, you know, freaked out about the passing of time, but I've just got to get over it. So yes, if you're not subscribed to my channel, it would make my day if you did. I have lots of travel videos. I have the old fashion video where I try on clothes unsuccessfully. And yeah, I just showcase my personality. I'm also on Instagram at I am Christabel and I have a blog, I want you to know.co.uk. So today is actually quite exciting because I'm going to an event at Strawberry Hill House. Never been before. Sometimes in London you forget that there's these like grand palaces. Obviously we know, we know about the Queen, we know where the Queen lives, but there are so many places like on the outskirts. Like I went to Hampton Court a few weeks ago to their flower show and yeah, Strawberry Hill is not too far from there. So we're gonna go there for a bit of an Insta meet, have a look around think you know might be some canopies involved and yeah just catch up with everyone probably should have left a bit earlier the thing is about the trains like they're only every half an hour so a little bit tricky but I might I might try and you know freestyle a different way because I don't want to waste any time so yeah I think I'm gonna head off meet up with some friends and have a nice evening so I am here oh my god what a trek I don't really understand that how the trains work around here I think they go in a bit of a loop and yeah, we went past loads of places that I'd never even heard of. But yeah, as if this kind of place is in London. Wow. Oh, oh look yeah. at Janae. Work, oh, it. Work, it. Work it, work it, work <laughs> it, work it, work it. But the other word he made up was serendipity. You know that yeah. where things happen to you by lucky accident? Walpole made that word up because he'd read a story of the three princes of serendip and things happen to them by lucky accident. This house is full of serendipity. And Walpole and his designer friends would look through it and they saw the um, choir doors in the old school and thought, well, that girl make very nice little places for the library. had the event at Strawberry Hill. I've got people clicking. I don't know what they're doing in the background. They're doing jazz hands. But yeah, no, it was really fun. I'm really glad everyone got on board. Great way to do, it was a great way to spend a Saturday. Like sometimes I just sit in my house. I just sit in my house sometimes. I don't even watch Love Island. I probably could have watched Love Island. The amount of procrastinating I've been doing this month. But I thought I would come out. I've got my ensemble chorus in the background. And yeah, great Saturday. I've got Steph. Nerd about town. Hello. She's amazing. She Hi. speaks the truth. The and everyone, <laughs> everyone needs to hire this girl, okay? Hire Find her. Me, hire. Hire. Okay, so I'm going to go home now. Uh, I had a great day. And yeah, I hope you'll have some nice pictures on the blog and my Insta. And I'm just going to pretend that I live in this palace. Yes. <laughs> Hello. So it is Tuesday. God, this heat is doing things to me. It is so hot. I've had an interesting turn of events over the last few days. Obviously got my hair done, got some new braids. But yesterday I realized that my laptop was damaged by chocolate. You couldn't make it up. It was because I stupidly had some chocolates in my bag a couple of weeks ago. I got given them, I don't normally eat them, minty chocolates, and I just put them in there without thinking. And then obviously, because it's been so hot, they melted on my laptop. And I didn't think much of it. Obviously my laptop was just deceiving me. It turns out that chocolate has caused my laptop a lot of damage. So I'm currently waiting for an insurance claim. Fingers crossed, because it's, oh, it's literally the price of the, almost the price of the laptop. I don't understand, chocolate, chocolate. 
Anyway, I've got an event at the Trafalgar St. James Hotel, so I'm gonna go there and try and forget about it all. The perils of wearing a wrap skirt with no shorts underneath, probably gonna flash. Hello, so it is Wednesday and yeah, I am feeling a lot more motivated. Like I've been getting up really early for some reason. Well, I know why, it's hot, it's light. So I was up at like half five, crazy. Uh, so I actually got up and, you know, got some thoughts out of my brain. I'm trying to sleep with like notebooks by my bed. So that's quite helpful. Read a bit of a book. What else? Answered a few emails. So yeah, I definitely feel a change in my mindset. I'm glad because I was just freaking out a little bit. So yeah, so yesterday the event was really cool. I went to Turkey a couple of years ago. So the PR from that agency actually moved to a different agency, invited me to this event. So it was great to catch up and see what was going on. It was a Hilton event and I didn't know much about, you know, the different brands that are involved. Obviously most hotel groups have like different levels you know, within that. So there'll be like a really luxury hotel and then a more affordable hotel. I also met a really cool illustrator. She's a digital illustrator. So I'll try and insert the picture maybe here that she drew on her iPad, so skilled. And I'll, I'll put a handle there as well. I was a bit nervous because I didn't know anyone there, but got chatting to some journalists. They were actually based like near my co-working space. So small, small old world. So today I'm actually heading off to Margate. I'm going with Me Pack, so that's a backpack brand. It's gonna be hot, it's gonna be ridiculous. I can't find my sun cream, like I bought a lot. I bought the Hawaiian Tropic sun cream because it kind of, it does go on clear even though you're looking at it and you're like, yeah. Yeah, I cannot find that sun cream. I'm gonna have to buy more. I'm gonna have to buy like an SPF to spray on my face throughout the day as well, so. It's just summer, summer costs money. Uh, I'm also keeping my face quite simple. So I just put on a bit of Fenty concealer. What did I do? Yeah, YSL primer, Fenty concealer, powder, bare minerals powder, then, you know, eyeliner, brows, mascara. So I it was meant to be simpler than that. It sounds a bit more complicated, but I tried. Anyway, better head off. I'm gonna go to King's Cross and meet up with the rest of the group. <laughs> Saturday so I've gone through the vlog I realized at the beginning it looks like I'm not wearing any clothes it was an off-the-shoulder dress I've put a little disclaimer in there but you know when you watch things back and you're like ah why didn't I realize that typical anyway today what have I done today been to the gym tidied up a bit I've actually got someone from the BBC coming which is quite exciting they're just gonna film a really quick video I think it's just for online don't know if it's gonna like you know, go anywhere, but I thought, you know, let me try it. You know, you've got to take on all these opportunities. So I don't know how much I can say it's fashion related. Might be able to film a bit behind the scenes. Uh, but yeah, it's just crazy what putting yourself out there can lead to. I've also been listening to the How to Fail podcast, which is quite interesting. The one with Dolly Alderton. And I don't know if you listen to the High Low, I listen to it every week religiously. And it's quite interesting, you know, hearing how she feels that private school has obviously helped her, but she feels guilty about having that kind of privilege. And I think it's quite interesting to sort of hear it from that perspective, because we know, you know, a lot of people in high places have gone to private school, a lot of politicians, and they are confident because they've been put in this environment where they've had so much attention, you know, thrust upon them. So yeah, it's really, interesting you know I, I sort of covered this in my books video I think it's all about understanding like the mindset of people in you know in power in certain industries I just found it really interesting so I will leave a link down below I think I've tidied the house enough you know when someone's coming around and you're like you know trying to make sure everything's spotless even though this room is still a bit all over the place but yeah that is my plan for today and then i've got a housewarming later on so it's all it's all go all go this weekend <laughs> filming 
done. Sometimes I get a bit tongue-tied, you know, when you get asked a simple question and you forget how to speak. Typical, but hopefully, you know, they'll edit bits. You know, you obviously film for however many minutes and they use like a snippet. So yeah, it might be on the BBC channels. Who knows, who knows? Okay, maybe not TV, but online channels. So yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap this vlog up. I think it's been, I feel a bit more positive. No, I feel a lot more positive this week. And it's just, I don't know, I think the heat wave made me feel a bit less productive. I mean, when it's 30 degrees and you can't think, it's a bit tricky. But yeah, I just accept that I will have these ebbs and flows. And I'm just sort of trying to look at my, my goals again and work out like, how am I gonna get this all done? So I think that's everything I have to say. Hopefully I will have a new money diary post next week. So make sure you check that out. I've got my birthday in a few weeks. It's just gonna be a bit weird. Don't really have like major plans. Hopefully if it's warm, we'll just have like a nice picnic, you know, keep it low key. Maybe I'll go away next year. Uh, so yeah, I think August will be good. I need to make the most of August. It's like the, the last month of summer. I don't like mentally it's weird, but it'll be fine. I've got five months left of the year and I'm gonna get stuff done. Thank you so much for watching. I will put my previous videos here and here and I will see you very, very soon. Bye. Does anyone else hate leaving food behind at restaurants? Or if you're like sharing meals, I'm always the girl that wants the last bit of chicken or the last something. I like putting more effort into a meal and making it really exciting, but eating it for a few days 